So adding things into a red-black tree, you start off initially just like a binary search tree. You're always adding in a node as a red node. So if I look at a 3, I start at the 4. 3 is smaller. It's larger than 2. So I add it in to the right of the 2 as a red node. Now this violates the property that a red node always has two black children. So we're going to have to do some changes to the tree to fix the coloring of it. So to begin with, when you add something into the root, the first case you have to deal with, inserting at a root, a red node, you change it into a black node. The second case, if your parent is black, we're actually done because this hasn't violated any properties. If you add in a new red child to a black node, we still haven't altered the count of black nodes from the root to the leaves of anything. So that's actually fine. So here's a more complicated case. So let's say that both the parent and the uncle are red. So this, we have this red node we just inserted, the parent and uncle are red. So we change the parent and uncle to black and the grandparent to red. Now, this might have messed some things up for the grandparent. So we actually call, starting with case one again, a recursive call on the grandparent. So we basically run through the cases again on the grandparent, which might recursively call its grandparent, by the way. So this is a recoloring to help fix the um, number of reds versus blacks in the tree. So here's an example with actual numbers. So I just added this two in. The three and six are red. The four is black. So I need to recolor the three and six black and the four red, and then call again on the four. Case four. So the uncle is black. The parent is to the left of the node, and the node is to the right. Or alternately, the parent is to the right, and its node is to the left. So basically, you have this uh, sibling pair here with the node being in the same direction as the uncle, I guess you could say. Notice these things down here are subtrees. There may be other nodes down below. This one may be a whole bunch of other nodes that are attached. And so when you see these, these are basically the links to the rest of the tree. So what we do here is we do something called a tree rotation. What will happen is the node will go up to the parent spot, and the parent will become the left child of the node. Also, if you look at this number two here and this number four here, it switches parents. So the two will no longer be the left child of node. It will be the right child of parent, and vice versa over here. So this two used to be a left child of node. When node went up, it became the right child of the parent. So this is called a tree rotation. Notice that the parent links have also switched. So the node's parent is now the grandparent. You may have to watch out for that when you're actually implementing it. Next, we call case 5 on what is now the parent. So we basically are going to, take, to call again case 5 on this node here, this one there. So case 5 is basically what we just altered our tree to in the previous example. So if you have a parent and node that are both red, the uncle is black, and you have left, left, or right, right, we're going to do a tree rotation through the grandparent. The other thing we do is we switch the parent and grandparent colors. So the grandparent becomes red, parent becomes black. So notice that the parent moved up to the top spot, grandparent moved down, and the node moved up. The three used to be the subtree of parent on the left, and now it's the subtree of the grandparent one level down. That will actually fix the red-black tree. So here's an example. When we look at case four and five, if we add the two, we go down the left, go down the left, go down the left, and then add it to the right, because it's larger than the one. So the first thing that's going to have to happen is, technically, there is a black child off of the, to the right of this three. So remember that nulls are also black children. So the uncle is black, and the parent is red. This is case four, because this is to the left of the grandparent, and then to the right for the node. So we're going to do a tree rotation through one and two, and then we call case five on number one there. The null uncle is still black, so we have case five, where we have them both to the left of the grandparent. So we do the tree rotation through the grandparent. The parent, this two, used to be red, now it's black. This three was a grandparent, it moved down to the right and is now red.